Someone's going to ask me for permission. We're recording. You get to the exciting adventures of Mark setting up a scenario. <laughs> Are we going to play normal or easy today? Well, we didn't fail last time. But it was close. That's true, but isn't that ideal? I mean, don't we want it to be close? I guess we do want it to be close. We don't want it to be too easy. Um, on the other hand, it sucks when we fail. Because <laughs> then we have to play the same scenario over again. And this one's an escort quest. Oh, God. <laughs> yep. Everybody's favorite escort quest. With an even less smart um, NPC than usual. Um, I haven't looked at the details. They have a really dumb path finding or whatever. All she does, or he, does it say she? I don't remember. Um, his, oh, all he does is move forward three spaces every turn towards yeah. the end. So there's gonna be a lot of trying to get in the way of bad guys. Okay. Mobs or enemies or whatever you wanna call them. Which makes me believe that maybe we needed a brute for this quest, which we don't have. We'll be fine. We can put it on easy, I guess. <laughs> I have my slime, but... Yeah, but the problem with the summons is that they don't go until the turn after you summon them. And, and we're going to be continuously trying to move, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so maybe... I don't know. I guess we were, we were sort of like right on the edge of failing last time. I was <laughs> luck. Um, I guess we could we could do it easy this time, and then if it's too easy next time, we'll we'll set it back to normal. I think that's a good plan. Okay. I still am traumatized from the beginning of our campaign when we couldn't defeat anything. This map is enormous. That's the other problem. Fortunately, it's about protecting the orchid guy and then killing everything. So as long as we don't get exhausted, we don't actually have to make it all the way to the end of the map, just the doorway. Okay. Oh, and the the um the orchid will walk into traps if we're not careful. So extra dopey. Hmm. I don't know how to fit this in the camera lens. Yeah, it's it's a big one. Sorry, Doc. So I'm going to set up the person we're escorting. How many hit points does this thing have? Six plus three times the level. So we're doing level one to make it easy. So 10 hit points. Nope, nine hit points. Can't do math. Christ. This should go awesome. <laughs> this. Yeah, it's a big old map. 
Yeah, I don't know if I can. <laughs> I've got most of it on screen, but I've got it like very oblique. There's the last room, but it's super oblique. Well, I guess I'll just have to shift the map or shift the camera as we continue through the map or something. Good enough for now. That's the wrong end. Oh, we start in the other end? Yeah. Darn it. <laughs> <laughs> We're starting there. Mm -hmm. And my laptop decided to fall asleep. Totally, <laughs> my laptop just totally turned off. <laughs> An auspicious beginning. Yes. We definitely should play easy. <laughs> okay. I know you bought the uh, Gloomhaven Steam app. Mm -hmm. um, I bought the mini campaign, the uh, Jaws of the Lion. Do you know what I'm talking about? Mm. I think I've seen it, but I haven't, I don't have it. The paper, I mean, it's a cardboard, you know, it's a board game. It's a physical board game. Oh, cool. But it's a, it's a prequel and it's meant as a more user friendly or more beginner friendly version of this game. Um, like it only has four characters, I think, or something like that. And uh, it's a, it's smaller. But instead of these map tiles, you get a book like this, you know, and each page is a map. Oh, cool. Um, and so it's way more user friendly. Um, that sounds user friendly. I got the um, I got the Steam app as part of uh, backing Frosthaven. So I've been playing with that a bit. It's um, It's interesting because it's got um, a lot of, well, they don't have a campaign yet. It's still just like, um, I forget what they call it, but it's not the campaign yet. It's like a randomness. Uh -huh. And um, it's essentially like playing the solo campaign, I would imagine, because you control all of the characters. And it's kind of cool because I've gotten to try out all of the beginner characters which is neat, but um, the maps are teeny tiny. So like there's hardly any moving around. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of like standing your ground or trying to put barriers in place and shooting over them and things like that, which I thought was interesting. I'm just gonna use regular doors. Okay. The other thing, that I'm learning from the um, from the Steam app is that um, shields only work against attack damage, which I feel like is something we probably read in the book and then immediately forgot. Versus so, what? So technically things like retaliation damage and trap damage, anything that's not a direct attack, oh, it, the doesn't... Shield, it doesn't shield. Or at least in the app. I don't know if that's true for the board game too, but let me look it up. Probably true. I mean, isn't the app trying to be as faithful to the board game as possible? I thought. It is true. A shield bonus only applies to damage caused by an attack. So. 
So like trap damage, wound damage, um, retaliation damage, none of those are blocked by the shield. So it's possible we've been playing hard normal. <laughs> oh well. Which is like. Traps. Yeah, lots of traps. Okay, Enoch's guards, archers, and shaman. Mm -hmm. And a stone golem. So these are, this is like a, the tribe we massacred is now getting their revenge on us. Right? I guess. Or it's possible that this is a different tribe that's truly evil. Right. This is the tribe we should have been wiping out. But instead, Jexera sent us after the other ones. Can you hear her show? A little bit. Okay. <laughs> it's probably annoying me more than it's annoying you. I just wanted to make sure because there's like definitely copyrighted content coming down the hallway here. Oh. Uh, oh. Many... Eric's on it. Okay. We've got guards, these guys. Okay, I think I'm ready. Okay. Um, this is, what is this? Is this another source of power or what? This was one of the, yeah, one of the places that like pinged for hail, I think. Yeah. Okay. One of the places that was that was somehow connected to the artifact that we had severed. Uh, yes. Okay. This is the one that was in the dagger forest. We already did the one under the ocean. And there's one more on top of a mountain. So we're investigating. Because Hale likes to send us on the best adventures. Hmm? Oh, um, she had it last. Okay. I guess we should stand in front of this guy. Oh, we have to do like a city event and road event. Uh huh. Do we want to buy anything? I guess I bought, I did buy stuff. I bought wing shoes mm -hmm. and uh, traded out my minor healing potion for a major healing potion. And I traded my net that I never used for a stamina potion since that seems to be a big issue for this character. Right. Okay, so city event. We've got event number 17. Uh, returning to Gloomhaven with your latest haul of treasure, you approach the market in search of a good trade. Unfortunately, there are only a few of those little stands around that are not yet packing up for the day. A robed Savas catches your eye. It has a few strange artifacts on display, but you approach with no great expectation, hoping your goods will fetch a decent price. The Savas silently nods as you approach. It picks through your haul and lifts up a single item, holding out a small bag for you in exchange. Pouring out the bag's contents, a single rectangular black and white coin lands in your palm. Option A, demand a different payment, the single coin is an insult. Or option B, accept the strange coin and research it for hidden value. I feel like 
researching it for for hidden value is good. I'm a little concerned that we're getting uh, whatever um, tricked, but not that concerned because it doesn't actually say we have to give up anything yet. <laughs> right. Okay. We do option B. You calmly assess that the coin may possess much more value than it appears to have. You head to the university and spend hours looking through old records to enjoy. You end the day in a tavern, easing the frustration with a drink and loud laments about the coin. Oh, no. Very interesting. You look up to see an Aster standing over you. They describe a special meeting place. I can show you where. We've unlocked the Temple of the Eclipse. 81. Okay. 91? 81. 81? Okay. Cool. So no gold, but a new scenario. Mm -hmm. um, and given that we're both academics, spending hours in the library only to feel frustrated at the bar at the end of the day is pretty odd. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's on message. <laughs> <laughs> um, so your your laptop is not logged in, so I can't see anything that's happening on your. Oh yeah. Verify it to you. I think these Enox guards might be female. I honestly can't tell though. Are they they're like Chewbacca? Can't really tell. Well, there's there's evidence of of female femaleness? Femality? Femality? <laughs> but um it's not it could also be just really they they spend a lot of time on chest day with the with the uh, weights. I see. Oh no, wait. The other two are obviously male, so I'm guessing that the guards are female. I mean, male from a mammalian human perspective. They look so assuming that they are mammals and vaguely human like. The guards are female. Okay. Well, we don't discriminate. No. Okay. <laughs> I just thought it was interesting. It was an interesting choice on the part of the artists and the and the game designers because typically you find all male guards. Mm -hmm. So um, it's working now, right? Yep, I see it now. Okay. <clears throat> we got a road event. Oh, that's funny. It's also at event number 17. <laughs> outside of Gloomhaven, you look up to see a large bird flying overhead. Something is odd, though. Its movements are jerky, and there is smoke billowing out of it. Then you see it plunge into a sudden nosedive and crash to the ground off into the east. Uh, you rush to the scene and find a limping, suit-covered quatrel kicking a giant wing contraption made of leather and metal. First, this wretched thing, he yells in frustration. I thought I had worked it out, and then I suddenly lost pressure in the piston chamber. He looks over at you. You there, wonderful timing. Help me get this thing back into the air. There is no time to waste. Do whatever he says. <laughs> or uh, demand an explanation before you help it anyway. I feel like we should help him get his Da Vinci contraption back off the ground, but I'm no longer a quatrial, so I don't know it, my character would still do that. My previous character would absolutely immediately help. This one might be more concerned. I don't know. We have the chance, we're playing new characters, we have the chance of, you know, changing the alignment of the party. 
That's <laughs> true. Although we now have a paladin in the party, so I think we're like super lawful good now instead of like neutral yeah. good or whatever. In which case, a paladin would definitely demand an explanation first. I think so. Mm -hmm. but I don't know. Let's let's demand an explanation. Okay. It should only take him like five minutes to explain, and then we can help him. <laughs> right. <laughs> so let's see what happens. <clears throat> you force the quattro to slow down and talk to you, but his eyes keep darting around in a panic. Don't you understand? The world needs my technology now. I must perfect it. It will revolutionize everything. You agree that the power flight is pretty great, but you convince the Quattro that the world can wait a day for him to get some rest and organize his thoughts. You help him transport the broken machine back to town, gain one prosperity. Sweet. Wow. Wonder what the other... Gloomhaven becomes the center of aviation, gain 10 prosperity. <laughs> <laughs> no, probably we would have gotten hurt or something because he was like a little wild. Or like maybe he would have died in a crash. Yeah, something weird like that. Okay. So now we are off to scenario 38. Oops, three. Um, so we're doing it at uh, level one? Yes. Because we're scared. Okay. <clears throat> Mind reading the intro as I eat? <laughs> I can read the intro, but we need to do this part first. Oh, yeah. Okay. Your two. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do this one. I am doing this one, which I think will, might be impossible. <laughs> Always good to start off with an impossible goal. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. <clears throat> Go for it. Okay. So this one's called the Slave Pens. This section of the forest is a maze of thorns and angry spirits, Hale says, pointing to the second location on the map. You'll never find the corruption on your own. You'll need a guide, someone who knows the dagger forest better than they know themselves. There's a group of native orchids that may be able to help. When you arrive at the orchid camp, however, you find something wholly unexpected. It is a scene of massacre and devastation. Burned out buildings and disfigured corpses, ew. Judging from the wounds, you figure a raiding party of Enochs did this. Luckily, Enochs don't feel a particular need to cover their tracks. You are able to follow their trail deeper into the woods where eventually you find a slave labor camp. Enochs guards overseeing a group of ragged orchids and humans working to construct catapults and other machines of war. The camp is not particularly well guarded from intruders and after eliminating a couple of key lookouts, you are able to slip into the slave pens and free one of the orchids. Yes, I can guide you through the deeper forest, the orchid says, but I cannot abandon my brethren or let what the, these Enochs are doing go unanswered. He moves over to a guard's corpse and picks up a blade. You can help me if you want, but either way, blood must be spilled in this place. The orchid rushes forward at a group of Enochs yelling wildly. Soon the whole camp is bustling with hostile activity. If you want a guide, it looks as though you'll need to keep him alive. Special rules. The orchid uh, has six plus 
three times L hit points, which is nine. He is an ally to you and an enemy to all monster types. He acts on initiative 99 each round, performing move three toward the shaman in the last room. If the orchid is killed, the scenario is lost. He also opens doors and springs traps. So we need to keep him out of the traps. And we're gonna have to move quickly because he's just gonna keep going. Wow, what a pain in the ass. <clears throat> yep. Um, <laughs> how are you representing him as, with one of these tokens? Yeah, I put him, I put an A guy thingy down. And I've got his hit points on one of these. So hopefully we can keep him from dying. Oh, uh, he, he's, he starts off where, where A is? Yes. Okay. Um, oh, I'm just using A as him. Hmm. That's a good idea. So he's going to go last on every turn and every round and just walk into things. Yeah. So, but he, he does attack though, right? Doesn't he? No, it didn't say. It just said moving. He picks up the sword to not do anything with it. <laughs> Pretty much. Bastard. Mm -hmm. He's like the, uh, like we're in a greyhound race and he's the rabbit. We're just following the rabbit around. Yes, yeah, so we have to lead the rabbit around, really, because he's got only nine hit points. I guess so. Yeah. This is going to be... <laughs> this is going to be ridiculous. Ridiculous. I can see already. Okay, where, where do you want to start? But we can, we can block him, right? Uh, well, he can move through us, but not... But if we're blocked, then he can't move through us. So... I was figuring there would be a lot of us blocking him or blocking bad guys. Mm -hmm. But if we get too caught up in blocking bad guys, he's going to die further down where we can't get to him. So where do you want to start? I was going to start. Maybe I should start next to him so that I can summon something in front of me. But then he's going to go around you. Like that. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Although I am concerned he's just gonna like do do do. So I'm gonna have to summon some things that like keep him from getting close to the. Oh, I have those two. I have one where I get to summon two at once. We'll be okay. But he can go through us. I mean. But he can't go through, he's an ally, so he doesn't go through, like he can't stand on somebody else. Right, so we can block the three hexes that he could go into. Mm -hmm. Like you would just move up and summon something next to you and I would occupy the third one, you know? Yeah. But we might be able to kill, kill these guys or one of these guys. One can hope. I don't think they're very quick. One more quarrel, let's see. Oh, this will be good. Yes, yes. They have eight hit points each, but nothing special about them. <clears throat> Now's when would be really good to have the net that I sold because I could like immobilize things. But that's okay. I don't know. Let's try this. Uh, 
23. I have 82. All right, they have 50. They're going to move and attack. Crap. Um, if I move forward to be next to both of them, then they won't move. They'll just attack. But they'll both hit you. Well, they're going to go after me anyways because I'm the oh, but yeah, because your lowest initiative. I mean, that is the one thing is that um, the as long as he's not like right next to something, they're going to try to hit us. Yeah. Because we're not going to have initiative 99. Um, okay, well, I am just going to move. Wait, these guys have eight hit points. Uh, let's see. I'm going to move here, I guess, front and center. And okay. then um, I'm going to attack one for two and stun. I'll do, do you care which one I try to stun? Or I try it? Nope. Either way. I'll do the one farther away from you. OK. Um, so attack a two. I guess I should shuffle this. So the one to your character's left? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Did you whiff? <laughs> you need to figure out how to get rid of those whiffs. <laughs> yeah. I whiff every time. One. <laughs> Okay. That's my turn. So he's not even stunned because I missed. I missed completely. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, they both attack me. So I'll just draw cards. Uh, attack of two minus one, one point. Okay. I have 14, so now I have 13. And then the other guy whiffs. <laughs> That's better than a sharp stick in the eye. Okay. So. They were so impressed by my fumble that they fumbled. <laughs> they were so busy laughing. <laughs> they were like, hee 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 hee, whoops. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> um, so I think I'm going to do things a little bit differently than what I thought I was going to do. Because I realized that even if I summon my two, my wolves, he's going to get in front of them and then, where'd you go? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to get in front of them and then they won't be able to attack. So, what yeah. I'm going to do... You need to just get up. Oh, maybe I, I should have gone. I should have gone here, huh? Because then you could have gone to the side and then summoned someone to the... Whatever. Yeah. Oh well. Um. Well, even if he goes forward, it's okay because he won't get hit by them. They're gonna. Right. It's true, but I don't. So I'm gonna instead of summoning two things, I'm just gonna summon one thing. So I'm gonna move one, two. So he has to at least go. No, that doesn't make any sense. Just one, and then I'm gonna summon my slime spirit guy uh -huh. right there. So let me put my slime spirit guy. How much health does he have for? He's the one that has shield, so 
He's not very powerful, but he can shield and muddle. Okay. Um, and then that. Okay. Um, so at least now there's like two things for them to hit instead of just. Yeah. So if there's two targets. And so then I guess he goes one, two up next to them. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. He's enraged orchids don't make good decisions. That's not. Yeah. All right, next round. I wish he had an attack. He's got a sword. He should at least like every once in a while stumble and crash into somebody with it, right? Good thing. I'm thinking that if hobbits can take down orcs, orchids should be able to at least make the Enoch stub their toe. Okay, I have uh, 56. I have 51. They have 30. Awesome. Um, one guy, this guy's going to attack the slime, and this guy's going to attack me. Yep. Okay. All right, so the slime guy. Gets a plus zero, so he does one point of damage. Except he doesn't because he's got shield of two. Okay. And then the other guy does one point of damage to me. So now it's your turn. Okay. So my slam guy hits the guy on the right for one point and muddle. Plus one, so two points and muddle. I wish you would have gotten to muddle before, but that's okay. And then um, I am controlling him and he does it again. So he's attacking the same guy for one and muddle. Oh, minus one, but he's still muddled, double muddled. Okay. Oh, well. And then I'm attacking that same guy for two with range three and I start a fire, apparently. So attack two, range three, plus zero, so another two points off of the guy on your right. And he's on fire? No, he's not on fire. I, the fire element is up. <laughs> oh, okay. That would be cool, but I'm not an elementalist. <laughs> and that's my turn. OK. Um, I guess I'll attack the same guy, because uh, we can try to focus fire on these guys. I've got attack five. OK. Plus one, six, he's gone. He dead. Dead. And then I've got a uh, bless effect one adjacent ally, I'll bless you. Okay, thank you. Now I gotta shuffle my cards again. And then this guy moves to the door. He right? can't. He goes he's... through me, right? Oh, I guess he does. One, two, three, into the door, right? Ugh. One, two, three. I thought he was blocked. That's stinky. This guy's terrible. And when he does that, he awakens three monsters. Uh. <laughs> have to go. <laughs> Yeah, so I feel like, because we have to kill all enemies, too, so maybe maybe we need you to, like, stick with him and me to clean up behind? I don't know. 
Now I'm super nervous that even on easy, this is going to go horribly wrong. Well, all, all three of these guys are going to attack him right now. Probably. <laughs> I can, maybe I can heal him next turn. I can, I can heal him next turn. Okay, we've got two archers, number six and five. And a stone golem. Oh no. And the stone golem is number. Oh, but he immobilizes him, maybe. That's not the worst thing. <laughs> Oh, on my screen. Maybe your stone golems won't do that. Oh, I hit next round. Uh-oh. Well, then maybe we should go with my what they said they would do on my screen. Yeah, why don't, why don't we do that? Okay. So the stone golem moves to attack one and immobilizes. Okay. So I'm going to move forward one and attack him. Yeah. For one. Should I draw? I guess I'll draw. I don't know if you can. Oh, you're right. I can't. Okay, I'll draw. For minus one, so zero, but he's now immobilized. Okay. So at least he will be stuck in the doorway being unuseful. Great job, dude. And then the other two, this is where things are going to get rough. Um, attack three, range four. He's in range for both of them. So the first guy is minus one, so attack of two. So he's down to seven. And then the second guy, attack of three, plus one. So four. So he's down to three hit points. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> I wow, hate it for quests so much. <laughs> I that one. <laughs> what am I going to do? This is terrible. Okay, now it's the next round. <laughs> now it's the next round. That was stinky. Wow. Yeah, and he's past my slime guy. So I can't get my slime guy in front. Oh, wait, I can. I can get my slime guy in front. I can. I think I feel like I have to heal him, huh? Yeah, I was going to try to heal him as well. Okay. So between the two of us, maybe we can. Yeah. All right, I'm going to try that. <clears throat> All right, I've got uh, 23. I have 25. All right, the guard's gonna go first. Oh wait, one of them's dead. That guy's dead. Um, he's gonna shield himself for one and an attack two, which I guess is against me, uh, and poison. Yeah. So he attacks me and whiffs. <laughs> Um, all right, that's good. My turn. I am gonna, um, heal him for three. Okay. And generate a sun. Okay. And I'm gonna move three, one, two, three. I got. Now they're gonna attack me instead of him. Okay. Well, yeah. now my slime, that's where I was going to put my slime. So that's okay. Now you're tanking for the slime. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is it my turn now? Yep. Okay. Um, my slime is going to move over one and hit this guy for uh, one and muddle. So 
plus one and muddle, so two and muddled. Muddle. Again, would have been nice to have had that earlier. So he hit for two points and muddled. Um, and then I am going to also heal the orchid guy for three. One, two, three. And then I think I should save this summon for later because we still have three more rooms after the one that just got opened. But, oh no, he's immobilized. I was about to say he's about to move through you, but he's not because he's immobilized. Okay, so I'm going to attack the air because I'm not close to anything right now. But you know what? I'm going to use my stamina potion and get two of my cards back. Okay. The archers are going to move and attack. They don't need to move. Um, they're both just attacking me. Um, attack three. Holy moly. Okay, so the first guy gets a minus two. So it hits me for one. Cool. So are you down to 11 now? Yeah. I think I get to plus zero, so three points. I'm down to eight. Ouchie. Yeah, those archers need to go. The stone golem doesn't move, but attacks four. Mm. Against me, plus zero. I'm now down to four. This might be very short. <laughs> <laughs> Escort quests are the worst. I lost 80 points that turn. Next round. Next round, and this guy is no longer immobilized. I feel like we should immobilize him. <laughs> are we allowed to target our own allies with an immobilize? I bet we are. <laughs> Good grief. Mm. <clears throat> I've got sixty five. I have. Fifty-one. Okay, the guard goes first again with fifty. He's gonna attack two. I mean, move two doesn't need to but attack two on uh, the slime. Mm -hmm. But he's muddled, so he's drawing twice, plus zero and plus zero, two points. Okay, on well the slime has two shields, so zero damage. Nothing. Now it's your turn. Okay. Um, so my slime attacks him for one and muddle again. So what am I doing? Plus zero, so minus one. And he maintains his muddle. Okay. Um, and then I make the slime do that again. So he's going to attack one and muddle again. Plus one, so attack two. And still muddled. So that's okay. nice. Um, and then I'm going to move five. No, I'm not. I'm going to move two, one, two onto this loot. Get out of the way, loot. Which loot? Wait, where is the slime? Hmm. I moved the slime in the wrong way. So, okay. Yeah, the slime was not on top of the loot. Okay. And that's my turn. Okay, the archers are gonna attack, uh, I guess me? Am I in range? Can they see you? This guy might be able to see you. It's I think the ones three. further back can see me. One, two, three, no. They're not in range. Oh. So they're in range of me. So they're attacking, me. both of them are attacking me. But uh, they have, oh, okay. They probably get too big. Wait, so does that mean they can see the orchid? Oh, yes, it does. One, two, three. Both of them can see the orchid. So they're attacking me and the orchid. 
Okay. <laughs> well, we're going to have a very short session today. <laughs> um, all right, so first guy uh, attacks me at minus one, so it hits me for zero, but hits the orchid for one point. Okay. He's okay, though, because we healed him all the way up, so he's all right. The he's in guy, you right now. Plus one, so two points. I'm down to two now. Great. And then attacks the orchid for minus one, so zero points. Okay. Um, the, oh, it's my turn. Um, geez. <laughs> um, I'm going to use this. One adjacent ally may perform a attack four. Cool. <laughs> so I guess the orchid. I guess the orchid makes an attack four. <laughs> he lifted up his sword. <laughs> Finally. I compelled him to fight. <laughs> <laughs> but how do we roll do I like how do we draw a card for him I think I would draw a card from your deck for him okay which means he'll whiff so <laughs> shut up <laughs> <laughs> do you think he should attack the golem or the uh, enox well the enox is down to three so he could kill the enox or okay. I don't know I don't know that it matters. How about the golem? Because you guys, because your slime might be able to finish the Enox. Yeah, off. I think we're going to finish off this Enox. Okay. Ooh, two times. Nice. Eight points Eight. on the golem. Who has a shield of one? So, so seven points on the golem. Nice. But now yeah. the golem is going to kill you, right? <laughs> Well, wait, I have, I have my last thing. Um, okay. <laughs> attack of five against the golem. Okay. Um, and I have advantage, and I get one XP for that. But I use up the sun symbol. Um, I get plus zero, or... Oh, I forgot. I had a wind. I got a wind. Plus zero. A wind. Well, I got a plus zero, so it's five points against the golem, minus one because of the shield, and that kills him. He's dead. Go away, golem. Wow, that worked out really well. That did work out really well, except for you still are at very low health. I'm going to have to kill you now. Oh, wait, I'm going to use my major healing potion. Okay. During your turn, perform a heals five self, so I heal five points. Okay. Seven now. And now it's the next round. And and we're on room two. Oh wait, no, because this guy's got to move now. Oh, yeah, he has to move. Three, three. Three. On, I guess he just moves two, like right there. Yeah. But now they're at a disadvantage, so that's nice because they're always ranged, right? Yeah, but only if they attack him. Oh, true. So it's likely they won't attack him. I guess. They probably won't. Um. Do you need me to heal you? If you can, that'd be great. I don't have, I only have one healing card and I used it on the guy already. So I won't, I won't get it back until I do a rest. Okay. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Dude, this this kind of sucks. Um, all right, I have sixty one. I have thirteen. Okay, you go first. Okay, so. My slam guy attacks for one in muddle, again, plus two, attacks for three in muddle, that guy is dead. All right. Dead. Okay, and then um, 
Range three, one, two, nope, I'm not in range for that anymore. Oh wait, yeah, okay. Um, so now I'm healing you for three. Yay. One, two, three. And then I am, I don't have anything else to do. So then I am attacking the air. Okay. And I have to do a long rest after this. They are moving one and then attacking one, range three. They don't need to move. They're just going to attack me for one point each. But each of them are creating a three damage trap. Next to you or next to themselves? This is uh, in an adjacent empty hex closest to an enemy. I think it has to be next to them, but it's closest to an enemy. Okay. There's only two places they can put traps. Like one, one is right here, right in front of me, like between me and them, right? And the other one is right here, like behind them. Awesome. That's fun. Both attacking me for one. Plus one and plus one. So four points total. I'm down to six. Bastards. Um, I am going to bless and strengthen. No, I'm going to use this one, I think. One ally within range three may perform a move four. You can move four. Okay. Or your slime can move four. Which would you rather? Probably my slime. Okay. Since I'm about to take a long rest. So I'm going to do one, two, three. Are they, they're three damage traps? Yeah. How much does the slime have? He has four and traps don't, you know, he's got a shield, so. But he doesn't have range, so he's going to move into that anyway. All right, okay. whatever. Because he's going to walk into that trap anyway. No, that one, two, three, four. He's not in the trap yet. Oh. But he's going to walk into the trap on the next turn. Why not? He could walk through me. Oh, I guess that's true. All right. He walked through. And now he's down to one health. Oh, I don't need to do that. I forgot that I learned how to do this. <laughs> um, and my other thing is nothing. I can move. I'll move one and grab this loot so that if I die, at least I grab the loot. <laughs> if you die, we're in big trouble. But at least we get to take home the loot and XP, right? <laughs> right, exactly. Next round. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, I have to do a short rest. I'm doing a long rest this turn. A long rest? Should I do a yeah. long rest? Huh? Should I do a long rest? No, I don't I, need to. I don't know. I guess my slime will have an initiative over the other guy, but... Yeah, I'm not doing a long rest, so I'm just I'm doing a short okay, rest. Okay, I'm doing a long rest because every time I did a short rest, I kept losing a good card, so I'm going to not do that anymore since cardness is like a major issue for me yeah oh, i think i need to heal myself yeah i'm gonna get rid of that one and then yeah oh well oh well If my slime survives the next round, I can heal him with my robes of summoning. Okay. I was like, oh, I could have used that. And then I'm like, no, it happened after my turn was over. I've got 57. You have 99. Mm -hmm. So that means your slime goes at the end too? Yeah, I'm going to assume that since he's a summoned guy, he just goes way late. Yep. 
All right, so first the archers are going to each move two. They don't need to attack one, range four. They're attacking me. They're both within range. And they immobilize me. Ooh, that sucks. All right, first guy, attack one, plus zero, one point out of five. Okay. Second guy, minus one, does no damage. But I'm immobilized. You are immobilized. On my turn, I can't move. Wow, that really sucks. <laughs> and that's doing me nothing. And then I heal myself for three. Okay. Okay, now it's your turn. Or your. My turn yeah my slime uh attacks the guy that's right next to him i guess uh for one oh of course because it's the only one that's close to him for one and muddles so minus one so all he does is muddle him okay at least he's muddled. and then the other guy tries to move but can't because those guys are in the way mm -hmm. And now it's the next round. That wasn't that bad. It could have been better. Could have been better. <laughs> <laughs> That's generally how life is. <laughs> been better. It could have been better. <laughs> That's what our, our tombstones will read. Could have been better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not close enough. Dang. I was like, oh, I'll just do these things. Not close enough. You want, I can move you. Um, I need to be within range three and then I could do a double attack. Or if I wait a turn, then I can do, I can push one of them into a trap. Mm. I should probably wait a turn. Why don't you do both? Because I can't do the double attack and do that. Oh, it's on the same card? Yeah. Well, no, it's not on the same card, but it's um, the, the pushing into a trap is one of the attacks. OK, so I'm going to do that. And if, I, if I were to move you, you could do that thing to push someone into a trap. No, I need, I need, um, I need an element that I don't have yet. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't move you. Is what you're yeah, saying. You move me. I should move myself. Wait, the slime and the guy is in my way. I can't attack them right now. Oh, boo. You don't have any ranged attacks? I have one ranged attack, but it's one of those ex expire this card attacks. Oh. Yeah, I need to be careful about that. I can. I'm going to do this, and then the next round I'll do my double attack and pushing it. I'm going to do that. We have a long way to go. Yeah, I know. I was looking at this. Um, okay. I have 23. I have 51. These archers are totally in the way. They have 56. Okay. With my 23, I'm shielding up. And get an XP for that. Um, and then I am moving one. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Okay. Oh. Am I in your way? Would you rather I move in the other hex? No, no, no. You're actually perfect. 
I just realized that I did a thing like two rounds ago and didn't give myself the XP for it. Okay, all done? Yep. Okay, so my slime attacks this guy for one and muddle again. Plus one, two and muddle. So that guy is down to four and he's still super muddled. My slime's okay. really good at clanging people on the head. Okay, and then I'm gonna move uh, three and create a wind element. One, two, three, and wind. And then um, I am making my slime attack again. So I get one more XP for that. And so he's one and muddle again, plus zero. So just one point of damage, but more muddling. And that is my turn. Oh wait, and I heal my slime for two at the same time. Okay. I use my robes of summoning. They are attacking, uh, let's see, they've got range three, one, two, three. Both of them are attacking two people. They're attacking me and the slime. Gross. But that's why I shielded up. <sighs> Nice. So first guy is attacking me for one minus two minus another one for my shield, so he totally doesn't do anything. Nice. So he attacks the slime at plus two, but minus two because it's a slime shield, so oh. one point of damage. Yep. And then the second guy attacks me for plus one, so I would be two, but minus one because of the shield, so one point. Seven. And then attacks the slime for minus one, does nothing. Okay. Perfect. Right oh, and the guy moves, but he can't move. Yeah. He's not a super useful NPC. Can I yeah. just say? All right. Get ready for epicness. OK. Which will somehow become an epic fail. <laughs> One can only hope. <laughs> okay, I am ready. I have 29. I have 25. 29, 25. All right, they've got 32. You go first. Okay, so my slam attacks this guy for one and muddle again, but he whiffs, so that was useless. I, well, I forgot to draw twice for that guy. Did he do any damage? He didn't do any damage, right? I think he hit my slime. Let me draw a card. Times two, so the times two didn't count. <laughs> okay. All right, so he whiffed on that. But then I attack for three and push him into the trap and I get uh, an experience point, but let's see what I did first. So attack of three minus I, one. I attack this guy. Huh? Which one are you attacking? The, guy, the guy that's in front of me. So he gets attacked for three minus one is two. But if you push him in a trap, he's going to die anyways. That's true. So he dead. Okay. Dead. Wasted on his own petard. And then, oh wait, I get, a, that's not me an experience point for that. And then I am attacking this guy for two and creating a, a, a fire element. Oh, I used up the wind element on that. So attack of two, range three plus one, so attack of three. So I took, I hit him for three points. I did not muddle him though. So there you go. You should have pushed that guy into the trap. I can't because the trap is two spaces from me and so is he and it has to be further away. So I could push him into the door, but not into the trap, sadly. I got it. I got it. Wow. Yeah. Oh, as in the slime did the pushing? Mm -mm, no. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong character. I was looking at my guy. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Um, that works out well, because now there's a space for me to move into. Cool. I told you that. I'm moving there. One, two. No, I'll move three onto the loop. Okay. Oh, wait. I'm going to move into the door so the stupid guy doesn't move there. Oh, good call. So I'm moving into the door. 
So I'm not grabbing the loot. Guys, what do we got here? We've got an elite rock golem. And then a guard and is that an archer? Yeah. One, two, archer, archer, guard. Okay. We can do this. It'll work. I need to get ready to push some more things into traps. Archer. Guard. And then the golem, elite golem. Yeah. Yep. Um, all right, well, I'm still moving. So that was a move of four. I'm attacking uh, this archer for four. Okay. The sun symbol, four plus zero is four points to the archer. So he is dead, yeah? Yes. The one behind you, right? Yeah. And there's a sun symbol now. Um, and now it's the guard's turn. He's going to shield himself up and attack, but no one's next to him, so he doesn't attack anyone. And now it's the archer's turn. He's going to move to attack three, range two. So he has to move forward one to get within range of me and, and shoot me. OK. Shoot me for three and complete misses. Oh, I was supposed to have like totally. Is some <laughs> my slime whiffed? I forgot to. Shuffle, yeah. Shuffle. Uh, the golem is going to move to and attack three all adjacent enemies. No one's, in no one's next to him. I guess he moves there. Okay. And that's the next round. Oh, wait, and this guy moves. I guess he moves two. He moves three, so. But he can't be on top of me, right? But he's only two, he was only two behind you. Oh, you're right. One, two, shoot. So he's going to go there. No, he could go off to the side. Well, he's trying to, he's making a beeline for the shaman, right? Right, Whatever the but, is. but the shaman is closer to that hex just through a wall. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. Dang it. <laughs> uh, he's you know that means, I should have. Oh, no, this is good because they attacked me instead of him. Right, but he's gonna, he's gonna, well, he's gonna get attacked by this guy. Who he's gonna do a, yeah, he's gonna do a bunch of like, he's gonna zig and zag through them, or try to anyways. Yeah, except for that he's gonna crash into those traps at the other end and die. How many hit points does he have? He is at, oh, he's at full, uh, well, no, he's at eight right now. How, how bad are those traps? Those are, okay. Um, we're at level one, three. Yeah. He can he can crash through one of those traps as long as he is not down to three. Okay. Well, hopefully, I mean, I'm gonna go before him. I'll get in these guys' way and they'll attack me instead of him. Okay. And I will try to get my slime in there as fast as possible, plus maybe some other guys. I'm trying to decide how many guys to have out and it's like, what is the, correct number to have out at any given time. Mm -hmm. Oh man, this is dumb. Okay, I have 55. I have 82. This might be bad. Oh, geez. 
We're going last. <laughs> so first the stone golem has retaliate three, range three. Well, nobody's there, so. Yeah, and he doesn't. He's got a shield though, too. He doesn't attack, he just has a range of three. I know, I'm just saying that in general though, he has a shield, he has two shields. Yeah, okay, but he doesn't do anything. Wolves in. The archer has a move three, attack one, range three. The archer doesn't need a move, it's gonna shoot me, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so attacks me at minus one, so it does zero points of damage. Okay. The guard has a move to attack two. Oh, the guard is gonna attack him. So guard's gonna move one here and attack the orc, archer guy, orchid. Attack two times two, four points of damage on orchid. Oh, lordy. No, oh, that's not good. Um, okay, now it's my turn. I am moving uh, one, two, three, four. No. Let's see. One, two, three, four right here. So I'm going to be next to the archer and the guard. Okay. And then who sh which one should I attack, do you think? Uh... The archer has slightly less health. Try to get rid of him first. Okay. I have an attack of five because there's a sun symbol. The sun symbol goes away uh, and I draw a plus zero. So five points on the archer. He's almost dead, but not quite. Okay. Um, smaller. And now it's your turn. Okay, so my slime goes one, two, three into the doorway and then does nothing else because he needs to be adjacent. Okay. And then um, I'm going to move up two, one, two. And then I am going to summon my two shadow wolves. Should I summon my shadow wolves or should I wait one more turn before I summon anything else? I have to do a long rest after this, so. I'm just gonna sit. You think I should just sit and then? I think if you summon them now, they're just gonna sit, right? They won't move until your next turn. If you're doing a long rest, that's gonna be 99. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, I don't want them to get killed right away. All right, I'm gonna save them for later, but yeah, I have to do a long rest. Okay. So I attack the air. That was a terrible turn. Okay. Next round, you're doing a long rest, so that's 99. Mm -hmm. I am doing this. I have 56. This might be where it ends. <laughs> okay. The archer, uh, as a move of one, attack one, range three, create a three damage trap. Okay, so it's gonna move one away from me. I think here. What did you say your number is? 56. Okay. So he moves one, uh, you know, right next to the golem. Okay. Shoots me for zero points of damage, but creates a trap. Um, I don't know, I guess right here, between me and the golem? No. Wait, did this guy move on the last turn? We didn't make this guy move. You're right, we didn't. So let's see, where would he have moved? One, two, three, he would have moved here where that trap is. Yeah. And then this guy would have moved away from me there and then probably put the trap here. Yeah. Okay. Um, the guard uh, shields up one and has retaliate two, so it doesn't actually attack. The golem moves three and attacks four. Doesn't need to move, it's gonna attack the orchid for four. 
We're about to lose. And then also has suffers himself one damage. I'll do that right now. Okay. He draws a plus one. So it does five damage to the orchid. So we just lost. <laughs> Stupid orchid. The orchid just died. And we lost the scenario. On easy mode, we lost the scenario in room three. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, that stunk. I get to go home with my luxurious one gold. <laughs> it's more than one gold. It's like, it's three gold or something. It, it is two gold because we went down the level. <laughs> Whatever XP you accrued, right? I did accrue some XP. I have five whole XP. I have three. Wow, that was a crappy... <laughs> that was really bad. All right, three. I now have 11 whole gold, and I need way more gold than that for like most of the stuff I need. Ugh, that was terrible. Yeah, no kidding. I have my check mark, which I was, I was doing well on. I wasn't. Mine was like, you can't be hurt by the end of the scenario. <laughs> Mine was the take only long rests. Which actually does make sense for this character because I get to decide because because the it's such a it's a tough one. After last time when I didn't have to pay attention to how many cards I had because I was just like I had eight million cards. This is a lot harder. Wow. So. <laughs> what time is it? Three oh eight. Well, I don't, I don't think we have time for another. Um, another maybe we should go to that the one on the top of the mountain what's the one on the top of the mountain we can divide. <laughs> maybe join us next time when we decide to do that instead yeah that was less bad actually and then we'll come back and try to get this ridiculous orchid to survive <laughs> we could also do the optional one that we unlocked through the road event or whatever or city oh, event cool. What one was that again? 81? 81, I think. Lips. Kill the colorless. I don't know what that means. It's a boss. So that one's a boss fight. That sounds awesome. We'll probably die. But we have, oh, there's a bunch of treasure and some traps and yeah, why don't we do that one next time? We have to take a break and do some looting of random temples. Okay. <laughs> Tune in next time when we... Tune in next time when we try easy mode on a boss and get automated <laughs> because it's a boss. <laughs> next time when we grind a bit to get up to the right level that we need to be. <laughs> right. <laughs> that will be exciting for all of you. Ugh. <laughs> um. <laughs> All right, well, that one happened. <laughs> I mean, should I even upload this one? <laughs> I feel like you should upload this one, but only because it's short and it will let people, I don't know. <laughs> that one was bad. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Next time we will maybe actually be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay then, uh, we'll see you next time. I'm going to start recording. Okay. Bye everybody. Yeah. When do you want?